Do you know what day it is? It is Bloxburg Update Day. So Bloxburg just released their Halloween update, and as you can see, we got a brand new UI in the front here, like the, the main menu, I'll, that's what it's called, I don't know why I can even figure it out. We're on version 0 0.11.0, and this update is one of the best updates that Bloxburg has released. Showing up on the screen right now, you'll see the update logs version is 0 0.11.0. So, happy fall everyone! Um, Bloxburg has added fall and Halloween themed items, foods, and locations. Um, they re-added Plenty of Pumpkins and Orchard Farm, added popcorn and cotton candy machines, which I'm kind of surprised that they didn't have cotton candy machines in the game yet. We now have the ability to resize pumpkins, ability to push carry push carried player in a wheelbarrow, add a neighbor, neighborhood allow list setting, raise neighborhood player limit to 75, and major bug fixes. So for the raised neighborhood player in limit to 75, it's actually pretty good because now there can be 75 people in the neighborhood instead of the max being 50, um, which allows YouTubers to have players be in the room more often now. Not the room, be in the neighborhood more often now. So we're going to go ahead and build mode and we're going to go check out some of the new build mode items that, are, that have been released in this brand new update. Okay, so my plot is getting really big from the previous updates. So we're gonna go here and decorate and see all the new items. So off the bat, we can see some brand new items have released, um, minus all the bathroom stuff, which is just over here. So today we're gonna check this out. So we have inflatable candy corn, which is pretty cool. We have a metal leaf tray, which let's put this on the small thing. Next up, we have a pop-up canopy, which I'm just going to put this right here. We have a traditional other candle, a rounded square candle, a round glass candle holder. We have a pumpkin, miniature pumpkin candle. We have an antique oil lamp. We even have a fall wreath. So let me just put down a wall real quick, wherever walls are. Build. Yeah, I was in build mode. Walls. So we have this right here where we can put down a wreath. So we now have a fall themed wreath. We also have a nice plastic rake as well. We have our cotton candy machine, which does all cost blocks, but I'm going to go broke with this. Um, but I'm going to place down the cotton candy machine, place down the countertop cotton candy machine, and our popcorn machine, which now I have no more blocks bugs. Next up, we have the rough autumn tree, which then shows you your leaves falling down. Now we also have some brand new pumpkins, which we have just the regular pumpkin. We also have the House O Lantern, which used to be the Roblox O Lantern. We have the Jack O Lantern, which is just the, the, a normal Jack O Lantern. We have the brand, we, nope, this is not brand new. We have the Sinister Jack O Lantern. We have the Noob O Lantern now. So we have Noob O Lantern, and we now have a Ghost O Lantern. So those are all the items in build mode that we can see here for Halloween. We also have all the old decorations, which I don't think there is a Halloween thing. So basically new, we should have seen, oh okay, yeah, decorate, it will be in special, which we also have all of our old items as well, paper bag, lanterns as well. So we have all of our old items in here as well with the spiderweb garland, the ghost string lights, all of these are now back in the game, which now allows us to decorate our homes. And I think the pumpkin, has, nope, the pumpkin mat cannot be resized, but we can now resize pumpkins with the scale tool, which is pretty cool. So let me just scale up some of these pumpkins, which is pretty cool that we can scale these pumpkins up. Now, there's also some more new locations. So I'm going to go head over to the corn maze, and we're going to go check out the corn maze, and I want to show you guys how you can definitely beat the corn maze.
Okay, so we are now nearing up toward the pumpkin, Plenty Oak Pumpkins Orchard. And it's over here by the campsite, and there are arrows that show you exactly where you need to go in order to get to the Plenty Oak Pumpkins Orchard. So we're definitely going to come up over here, and we're going to head into the Plenty Oak Pumpkins Orchard. Last year we had the orchard as well, so this is um, the second year that we have a corn maze in the orchard. So now the corn maze, upon completing it, you get a plaque, and you can complete it as many times to get as many plaques as you want. So over here we have the Plenty Oak Pumpkins Orchard. Which over here, this is brand new, which you got your popcorn and cotton some candy. It is Sabrina's Snacks. You can buy here orange or lantern candy. Buy your pumpkin ice cream sandwich, which is that is brand new. Um, you have corn dogs, which are also brand new. And your strawberry cotton candies, which all the cotton candies are now brand new. Over here, this is just the same as last year with Tom, the Beat Builders over here, which is pretty nice. You got your little bouncy house with your um, swing sets and your rock climbing stuff over here. Got some balloons and in here you have some more um, foods that you could buy, which in here are the display cases with some cookies and stuff. I don't think you can get anything from that. But from here you can get a um, apple, you could buy some apple cider, pumpkin spice lattes, and that's all you can buy from here for drinks and stuff. Um, there's also some more drinks, which we're also going to look into that as well, once I can find those. But over here, we now have your corn maze, you have your pumpkin patch over here, which just shows all the pumpkins that are growing. You have your apple trees as well to go apple picking. But right now, we are going to enter in on the maze, which this maze is kind of hard. So we're going to go and take our way in and take this way. So when you when once you enter in the maze, we're gonna take the left right here, and we're just gonna basically walk over here, and we're gonna go to the edge, which then we should hit this pumpkin right here. We're gonna come down, and we're gonna take this way right here. I'm gonna turn here and turn here. Then I think what we can do next is when we hit this pumpkin, we'll turn this way. Now the pumpkin maze, the corn maze is kind of a little bit really hard to get by and get through because you have to get towards the middle, which is just right over there, without getting into hitting into any dead ends. Now it's it's really easy to go through it if you know it from last year, which last year I did get lost a few times. And this year I don't know if I'm getting lost at all. It's just right over there. Hopefully get to it easy. So we're going to go through here, and then we have to come all the way back through the edge. And then I think if we go over here, we'll get lost. We want to go through this way, go through here, and go through here. And we should make our way towards the center at some point. Which, where's the center at? The center is over there. Okay, so we're going to make our way through here. Um, let's try to go... Now yeah, that's a dead end. Let's go this way. We have to go this way. This way. No, that is a dead end. Oh my god. So the thing is, you can't cheat while doing this, so that is really, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, we're gonna have to go back this way. Let's take this way this time. Skeleton. Okay, well. I have officially gotten lost, which last year I did also get lost as well while taking the corn maze. I think this is where we just came from. You know, where's the middle? The middle is over there. Bro, can I please just get to the middle? It's literally just right there. Oh! Did it! <laughs> we did it! So I, I, I got there, I got there, and we hit sit and got us right in there. Which is pretty amazing though, how would I know where to go? So I think we go from here. Yeah, that's just, 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 just a dead end. Okay, so it kicked us out, it kicked us out. But right now, this is exactly what you have. We're gonna go back to, down to the house. I'm not the house. We're going to go back down to the plot. We're going to check out all the brand new foods that we can cook. And yes, I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we're back at the plot. And now we're going to open up our... So we're going to go ahead and take ingredients. Let's see exactly what we can make. So we... 
During Halloween, we always get Halloween seasonal foods and everything. We have pumpkin cookies. We have ghost cookies. Um, we have pumpkin muffins. We have new sugar donuts this year. We have Halloween cupcakes. We have new spooky cake pops. We have tombstone brownies and some um, uh, some other foods. Which I'm surprised there's no, I guess you can only get the ice cream sandwich from up there, unless there's ice cream machines. But those are some of the things you can make within the new foods. And I think I am on burgers, um, pizza planet side. So I'm going to go down all the way over there because I think we should have a tent somewhere down here. If not, I'm going to see exactly where else we can get some of the, um, the um, hot chocolates and stuff like that. Okay, so we made our way down towards the Mike's Motors. So we have over here the plenty of pumpkins where you can purchase some pumpkins, buy miniature pumpkins, and buy apples. And in here, you obviously can buy your pumpkin spice latte, your apple cider. You have your new pumpkin spice hot chocolates. That's just amazing. That's one of the new drinks this year. So over here, this just says come visit our, come visit us. Come visit us at our new farm located next to the campgrounds on Plenty of Pumpkins Orchard, which is pretty nice and amazing. I love the Plenty of Pumpkins Orchard, which you can complete the maze many times and get many of those plaques for many of your different plots. So if you want to go ahead and complete it, go ahead and complete it as many times as you want. Over here, we have the graveyard that's here every single year. And this graveyard is just has like all of the... Um, you can sit down, you have your gravestones over here with a little ghost loving out, which is pretty cute. Your spiders, which are ah uh, scary. You have the rest in peace Oof. Oof has died, and we now have the Oof tombstone with the Oof. Whatever that thing is called, coffin. Which I think is pretty nice and cool. So I'm gonna go head over to my other plot, my mansion, and we're gonna go check out some of my lot. Well, I'm some of my special mate, my um, special machine, and we're gonna go check all that out and see if we can find any other drinks that we can make. Okay, so now I'm back at my plot. I have to be very careful on what I show you, um, for the house and everything. Um, I think you guys just got saw a snippet, and I'm lagging. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to come over here now, and we're just going to open these doors up. And we're going to go ahead into our kitchen, which I did change up a little bit since we've last, since you guys have last been here. Okay, so now right here, we now have the brand new kitchen, and we should have our espresso machine. In here, we have our pumpkin spice cappuccino, pumpkin spice latte, which is pretty nice. And in here, we have our coffee. Which, I thought there was going to be more stuff for us to put down on there. Let's see, i got to pay my bills, which are just $4,000. A lot of money for a $1.4 million mansion. But that's all we can make through in here. So I think we've gotten through all the drinks. If I missed any drinks, um, there's a lot of drinks that have been added into this thing. But once again, here is the change log for um, 0 0.11.0, the fall slash Halloween update that has been anticipated for weeks. Now, I know I am late because I have been busy all day today. Um, I had work and then, well, I had an interview to start work and I'm starting tomorrow at noon. Um, I got myself a new phone, so that's pretty nice. Um, I also went to my homecoming football game, which we lost because my school does not know how to play football. Always lose the homecoming games, like, come on. It's homecoming. We should have won. But anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you guys are returning and haven't subscribed, because I know a lot of you haven't subscribed. I think it's about 7% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel. It'll really help me out if you do. Hit that subscribe button and the like button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss out any video that I post. My Discord link is in the description and will be posted in the comment section down below as well. So go ahead and check that out. I'll be talking in there like almost every single day. I'm trying to get the community there up and running so that people can start talking. And I'll start doing more interactive videos with you guys there with posting update secrets and stuff like that. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out my Discord server, the link is in the description in the comment section down below. That's all I have for you guys today. So I'll see you guys when I post the next video, which will be tomorrow. Um, the video has been recorded, and it was also postponed today just so I can make this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye now!
built an empire.